Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to a bonus video from FTB Academy. This time we're going to take a look at automatic processing for the atomic reconstructor. So let's get to it. This is roughly what you're going to need. You're going to need one of each of the things you want to process. You're going to need a pattern for them. You're going to need a collector, your atomic reconstructor, pressure plate to trigger it. You're going to need open crate. You're going to need a chest, item duct, two servos, three blocks, or uh, three blocks just to block it in. I am going to use a floating lagnolia, which will disable my magnet ring in this area. So if you're using a magnet ring, Consider moving this far away or making one of these yourself if you're using some other type of magnet, which I don't think might be in this pack. There are. So if you're using like the actually additions magnet, uh, this will not work for that. This will only disable the Botania ring. Pretty sure. And you'll need your crafter. So let's get started. Close that out. Let's go upstairs to make these recipes. Uh, it's pretty simple. Switch it over to processing mode. Uh, look up how to craft it. Swap to the reconstructor tab. And there you go. Move items. And that's how you do it. I do block form because it's just easier for me. You can do the small form if you want, which is perfectly fine. This will work the same for that. So with that, now we can just pull everything out. Well, almost everything. So let's set it up. I'm going to break this. I am going to place the crafter facing up. On top of the crafter is going to go the chest. So now this crafter is going to export to this chest. Let's give it the patterns. What's in here? Okay. So now when I tell it to craft, it's going to place the materials here. We're going to take those. Well, we're going to place an open crate here, which will just drop or, uh, items into the world. You can use the, say, dropper from Actually Editions. It's just fine. But we're going to take our item duct, connect the chest to the open crate, and we're going to put a servo on it. The servo, drop it down to one, exact size of one, and you can put it on ignored. If this does too many items at a time, it gets clogged up. Under the open crate is going to be the pressure plate, and where I left the wire is going to be the reconstructor facing the pressure plate. Other three faces I am just going to block in so the item doesn't go flying randomly. That's not super important to do, but I'm just doing it. The collector I'm going to attach to this pipe. Away from it, these have a range of about 6 radius. So it will be well within range. I'm going to put the servo on, tell it to extract. And now for the collector, we're going to leave it on whitelist. And now we have... No, not really... I going to say we have a couple options, but it's just easier to put them all in. Some of these have the same number for JEI. As you can see, this is number 6207 slash 2. The slash 2 is the damage count, so it's an internal thing. If you look here... No, that doesn't help. Never mind. But you could tell it to ignore metadata and that will ignore the slash zero slash one so you don't technically need one of each but you need one of each unique number but we're just going to put them all in and leave it default so that's two four six eight two four six eight and there should be eight recipes yep and then i'm just going to put the anti-magnet flower right there 
and it's good to go actually uh, make sure the reconstructor is on pulse mode use a redstone torch to toggle that if not you don't need this anymore there we go so put all this junk away and let's go with Inori. I've been using a lot lately, so craft me 10 of those. Dart. We can move this out of the way for a second. I'll just drop it, change it, and pick it up. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.